Hey, Julie Burke here, founder of Create Success with Julie.com. Uh, happy Tuesday. I'm hopping in real quick before I head on to a four hour conference call that is day two for this conference call. I was on for four hours yesterday, and my goodness, my head wanted to combust. It was, it was cool, there was lots of information, but my head wanted to explode. Um, so I'm going to keep this really quick to the point. I'm going to share these three tips with you to help you grow your business. And as you're tuning in, please say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I am coming to you from my home in Chicago. If you are not familiar with who I am, my name is Julie Burke. Nice to meet you. I'm, like I said, I'm the founder of Create Success with Julie.com. You could head over there after this broadcast and pick yourself up one of my free resources. I have many. And this is my fan page community where I have probably over 300 training videos now. So you could just head over to the video library, obviously smash that follow button and see first so you get all of my trainings um, immediately in your news feed. Hey guys, how are you? What's up, Texas? Hi, Tammy. Um, and then of course, share this out because I'm going to be talking to you about how to get your prospects saying yes. Now, if you know my story, I've been in network marketing for six years. A year ago, I switched to another company and pretty much have flown to the top, almost to the top of that company in a year. And uh, I teach strategies on how to do that. I teach attraction marketing. I teach you how to brand yourself okay, and build a powerful personal brand. A lot of people don't understand what that means. A lot of people don't understand what attraction marketing is. And so all it means is that you're building, um, as you're building your brand, you're actually becoming like this magnet and developing your own tribe, right? So it's super cool. And I love teaching it because I, I love teaching online methods to help you leverage your time. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is has to do uh, in with network marketing. So if you're in network marketing yourself, um, I'm a multipreneur. I own four home-based businesses, but one of those is a network marketing business, and um, I don't own it, but you know what I mean. I'm part of it, right? I'm making the, le the legacy money. If you are in network marketing, drop me a one below just so I know, and let me know... Um, let me know what your struggles are right now inside of building your business. You know, is it prospecting and recruiting? Is it using social media to build your business? Is it engagement? Is it branding yourself? Because you hear this word brand and you don't know what brand means. Like, let me know what it is. Is it closing? So <laughs> I had someone say to me this week, oh my gosh, I need to learn how to close like you. And I'm, I'm like, you know, it's funny because I teach that inside of my rapid enrollment system course. Um, I, I teach basically all the fundamentals of how I built up a seven figure network marketing business inside that course. But closing really is just a way to just ask for the sale. And a lot of people that they're very uncomfortable with that, but I, I do it in a very authentic way and I teach you how to do it in a very authentic way. And so, and then of course I go on and teaching how to team build and duplicate and leadership, organize time and branding. Awesome. Um, time management, I'm assuming, Tammy, that is time management. So time management. So I talk, I did a training on, um, Tammy, I don't know if you saw my training on content batching. It's a huge time saver. Um, I will do another training around that. Um, maybe I'll do some sort of um, workshop training on that because it, it seems to be the running thing. But yeah, please let me know. And if you're on the replay, also put hashtag replay. And if you're new to who I am, um, let me know. Just put new in the comments as well. But again, welcome. So the three most powerful questions you can ask during the recruiting process is this, okay? So if you're taking notes, make sure to grab a pen and paper right now. Um, this is not going to be earth-shattering stuff. You might have even heard this before, but you guys, it works. It works, it works, it works. So I always talk about network marketing. Really, all you're doing is you want to learn more about the person. And the way you do that is by asking more questions questions and by listening. Okay. Because what that helps you to do is it moves you uh, further along in the conversation. And of course, as you're going through the conversation, you're looking to find that common ground with that person, right? 
And so usually the common ground is not talking about business. It's talking about life in general. It's talking about what they do for a living. It's talking about family. It's super important, okay? Um, Yes, and share this out also as I'm continuing to go. Share this out. If you share this out, I always love raffling off um, 20-minute coaching calls. So if you do share it, smash the share button and just put share in the comments and then I'll come back and look to see who shares. But um, I do this sporadically where I hand out 20 minute coaching calls where you could just hop on the phone and literally ask me anything for free. Okay. So you're furthering along this conversation, right? And so honestly, it gets to the point where now, and and I'm going to tell you right now, you don't need several conversations to do this. You can actually do this in conversation number one. Okay. So whether you're on the phone with them, whether you're talking to them in person, whether you're utilizing messenger, like I do, and I teach my team to do, um, it's a simple question of, are you happy? That's number one. It's a question of, are you happy? There are so many people in this world, so unhappy with themselves, with their life, with, with their direction and even in other companies, okay, or even in their nine to five. So it's, are they happy with their job? Are they happy with their work situation? Are they happy in their company? Um, Are they happy with their health? Okay. Um, Are they happy in their relationship? Are they happy with their business? It's just that simple question of, are they happy to be able to further align that conversation? Okay. And So you ask that question and then you be quiet. You just literally be quiet and let them answer because I'm going to tell you right now, nine times out of 10, they are not happy. Okay. Um, and so listen for those cues. See, that's why we listen because as you're, you're going through the conversation, you're talking about just life in general and relationship. I mean, it's not like, Hey, let's get to the sale right away. No, you want to get to know your prospect. You want to get to know your prospect because you don't even know if you want to work with them, right? Um, So, and then you also know how within their answer, if you're going to take time to spend with them, okay? Because there's also a lot of people that play the victim role and there's a lot of excuse makers out there. So it's a really great, great question to, and, and to really listen to their answer. And then if they're not happy, which most times they're not, The next question, question two is, do you have a plan to change that? Okay. And again, most people don't because most people are sitting in misery and they don't know how to change that. You know, whether there's more month left at the end, you know, than their money, um, there's a lot of people out there that are looking for a secondary income, right? But we don't know unless we ask the first question, right? And then the second question is, do you have a plan to change that? I don't know. I'll probably butch up your name. Ketty? Ketty? I think that's your name. Thank you for sharing. (laughs) Thank you for sharing. Okay. So if they don't have a plan to change their current situation and they say, well, no, I actually don't, then the third question is would you like to see one? So you see, it's like, it's a natural progression of a conversation. And let me check my time here, guys. Sorry, I have a four hour conference call coming up in about three minutes. Um, So I'm going to cut this short. But um, here's the thing. If they're not happy and they don't have a plan to change that, then it's, do you want to see one? And it's a simple yes or no, you guys. It's a simple yes or no. And if they tell you how they're unhappy and how they have no plan to fix that, then that's like your open door to saying, hey, I think I have something that can help you. Or, hey, I think I might have something that would be of interest to you. I'm not sure because I don't know what you're looking for. or I don't know what's going to make you happy or, you know, not happy, but at least take a look before you make a decision. That is something I always say to people is at least know, at least know what you're saying no to. Does that make sense? I love that. At least know what you're saying no to. Are you open to taking a look? And so honestly, those individuals that just sit there and say, well, you know, I don't know if I have the time or life is busy, forget them. You guys, forget them because they will be your typical excuse makers and we do not have time for that. 
Why don't we have time for that? Because then there's going to be two, three, five more people that go by because you're wasting your time on this one person and trying to convince them. Let them go. Okay, so you have to gauge the conversation. Remember, you always have the choice. You have the posture. Bring that posture. Just know that you have the gold. You have the good. You have something that can help people to literally, you know, what I do is with my company, we build all online. Okay, 100% online. So if I have, you know, Debbie that's working her nine to five job and she's exhausted and she's like, how am I going to come home at night and like, you know, go off and do parties and like build this business, I say, listen, this is how we do it. And I show her how we do it through social media and online, right? So look at your system and have a system set up that people could realistically do on a very part-time basis, all right? And if you don't have that, you definitely want to develop one. All right, guys, listen, I have to hop off. I have to run to my call. I hope that this was helpful. Again, I'd love to hear from you. Anything that's you know, pressing on your heart, pressing on your mind, whatever you want to learn in terms of growing your business online, uh, whether you're like a network marketer, a coach, whatever it I've, I've done it all (laughs) right. Uh, how to use, uh, Facebook, social media, how to get more engagement, whatever it is, branding, closing, selling, whatever it is, you guys, I've been there, done that, and I've done it with success. So I want to bring that to you. Let me know. Love to hear from you. As always, you guys, be blessed. If you found value in this, please click on that like button and smash that share button and share it out or just tag your teammates here um, or a friend here that needs to hear this. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye for now.